Hey everybody, what's going on? Taking a little ride down Factory Creek. Afternoon, it's hot. It has done got hot. We've avoided it all year. Right here in the North Alabama, Northeast Mississippi, Southern Middle Tennessee. Today it was in the mid, upper 90s. Tomorrow it's gonna be about 99 humidity just I don't know 175 200 <laughs> percent whatever you can just look outside standing inside and start sweating she gets hot here it, it ain't near as hot here as it is down in down where Tiger Man lives or Twisty Grip down in Florida I mean that's 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 like hell hot hotter than hell however you want to say it around here it's just damn hot but I, I still watch these videos of, of uh, Colorado Dual Sport. Some of them guys out west. Hey, hey, check out this house. Forgot this one right here. Used to be a little store right here. That horseshoe hanging on the front of it. Could you see it? I hope you could. I went by too slow. But getting back to the hot. I'm glad I live here and don't... I, I, I love it up north, but I could not deal with with the snow and stuff and CDS fella and them. They, <laughs> they're still in the snow up in the mountains. Just whatever. I mean, they, I could not deal with that. He just put out a video last week. Him and him and his wife were riding in the snow, and, and I know it's cold up at where they live. The rednecks are out, boys. Rednecks are out. They out on Saturday night partying, baby. Partying the rednecks are out. Right here on the creek. Anywhere you want to get off and go, just jump in the creek and let her rip. But, <coughs> getting back to the hot. It, uh, you get used to it around here. I don't, I like it. I can deal with it. It'll be over. I always look for the first of September because after Labor Day, that's when it normally breaks around here. It takes longer the further south you go. But, it breaks by the end. It gets cool. I don't know, September, October, I guess up in the mountain passes and stuff that they're showing right now, they still got snow on. Probably freaking snowing again. I don't know. Woo! Man, that bump kicked my rear end completely freaking sideways. Here's your low water bridge. Low water bridge. Low water bridge. No algae. No algae in it. Don't want to bust my butt right in front of y'all. Woohoo! See if we can meet any more rednecks down here on the razors. I can't stand them razors. All they are is trouble. Whatever it is, what it is. And I cannot imagine everybody buying them things i know they're expensive whatever 12 14 15 17 20 000. i mean it's insane hey there's a four-wheeler that old house dang woodsman that was a freaking uh suzuki lt 230 or so late 80s orange suzuki four-wheeler one of the first ones but Look at that. Might be getting a little rain tonight. Looks like it's clouding up a little bit. Afternoon thunderstorms that you get all the freaking time around here. Finally showed you some dirt roads. I'm gonna see if I can get on some gravel or gravel. See if I can get on some trails for long. Show you what a trail looks like. Showing you that I ain't scared to ride trails. I just I bought my bike for this. Back roads, cruising, taking it easy. And that, that's, that store building back there we went by, we're like, I don't know, 12, 14, 15 miles from the nearest store, country store of any sort. We're definitely out in the woods, way out in the woods. I think this is that corkscrew, yeah. Check this corkscrew out. Look at the road right up here and right here. 
coming the other way is even worse. You got a hard right hand turn and then a back left hand turn and coming the other way it's it's way worse. You riding in here. We're down on lower factory creek. Shawnee T Creek runs into it. Yeah, we do got some Indian names down here. There's Factory Creek Road. Turn around and let you see that. I don't know how many of you still see wooden bridges, but I can let you see one. Y'all still have any of these around where you live? Check that out. When's the last time you rode across a wooden bridge? It's got a water line running on it. Catch a tire in it. They definitely ain't much traffic down here. Woo, spinning around, baby. Come back across her again. Weight limit, 10 tons, 18 tons. I don't know if I, I might break the weight limit trying to get across this. But here's an old country bridge. All the bridges in this county used to be like that. Now they got a, there ain't many of these left. <coughs> look at it. It don't look very safe, does it? I believe I wouldn't want to trust it driving across it with 18 tons. But you can do what you want to do. Glad you got to see a old wooden bridge we used to have. There's still a lot of them around. They're just few and far between, and they're definitely back all the middle of nowhere. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Well, I smell hay. I smell hay. Somebody's been cut. There it is, right there on the right. I smell more. That's, that's, that's another thing about riding these motorcycles. You get all the smells. That's that's one of the joy. Look there, there's all the hay. Cut it. They'll be raking and bailing it tomorrow. Maybe you can see it. That's just been cut today. Man, that smells good. It smells like summertime. How many of you? How many of you? They got round bales now. How many of you actually got out? picked up square bales huh when you was growing up for money my boy my buddy which I done it for other people too but we graduated together he about like me same size both play football together whatever blah blah but he uh there's a big old giant field of hay out in the middle of nowhere but his daddy had a big field. I don't know. It was that. It was that big right there. Well, back in the mid '80s, nobody. There wasn't no such thing as round bales. It was all square bales. But when you cut it in the summertime to keep from getting rained on, you had to rake it, and do it, try to do it all in 24 hours. You couldn't let it set out like them round bales. They'd get so heavy you wouldn't be able to pick them up, throw them in the barn loft. Well. We used to go down there every summer, twice, two cut, and sometimes he would get three cuttings in a year. <laughs> but uh, Curtis and Joel Pig, Joel Pig was his daddy, Randy Pig. Well, they cut, cut their hay, and we would go down there and get all us boys in high school. And we'd go down there and we'd fill the trailer up, and his little sister would be driving the truck. She was about seven years old. She was just driving in a straight line from one end of that field to the other. Two of us on the truck, stacking on both sides. Four in the field, picking up, handing them to him, walking. Got paid $2.50 an hour. Now how many kids do you know nowadays that would actually get out and pick up square bales in 100 degree heat, getting a dust and straw all over them and just everything and all this heat that I was talking about at the beginning of the video get out and do that for two dollars and fifty cents an hour we would work from seven o'clock in the morning till till it was done way past dark getting it up in the law well I mean we done 1300 bales 
in one day. That's 1,300 instead of 1,300. Buddy, your butt is dragging at the end of the day. In 12 times 250, 24, 30 dollars. Got paid 30 dollars, worked about 12 hours, 12, 14 hours, I don't know, about 30, 32 dollars. That wasn't a lot of, uh, that was, I guess is a lot of money in 1984, I don't know. Fill the car up with gas and take a girlfriend to the movie. Maybe. But there ain't no kid in the world, I don't know of one kid today that would get out and pick up square bales of hay for an old $2.50. I don't, I don't think I'd pick it up for $20 an hour. Square bales. If anybody's ever done it, I hope some of y'all's done it. I want you to comment if you've ever picked up square bales. And that's just alfalfa. I mean, fescue hay. You pick up alfalfa and cerisa hay, they weigh about 90 pounds a bale. Sling them up on the truck, then take them to the barn loft, throw them up in the barn loft. But that's the height. Just make, I, I, I couldn't get out and do that now. I couldn't get out and do it for five minutes. I'd pass out and I'd have to call the ambulance and it'd be all over. Because I've got so fat and lazy. That's what I need to be doing. I need to be finding somewhere right now that's got square bales and get my lazy fat ass out and start doing it. Instead of riding around on dual sport all day long doing nothing, taking it easy. Laying on the couch till the sun goes down, getting out and riding where I ain't got to be out in the heat. <laughs> but I sure appreciate y'all watching day. 